Alright Fresh Peak, we are back atop the Mickey and Friends parking structure for our weekly look at the Star Wars Land predict or, uh, progress. Ian, rather than you and I just BSing here for 15 minutes before we turn the camera on, I just turn the camera on. Let's just talk about what we see. Where do you want to start? Uh, I don't see any change on the pool. The pool looks about the same. Yeah. Although it does look like they've dug it out more right here. That just looks like a way in and out. Right, but it looks different. Doesn't it? Or no, they haven't shorted up any more than they did before, have they? No. Okay, so one of the things that somebody suggested was that, I can't remember what he said, but that's going to be a place for like, you know, not just substructure, but mechanical, you know, like okay. giant, you know, things that move things. Does that make any sense, do you think? I mean, yeah, but it's hard to go say one way or other. Really if you need a trackless system. technology... I mean, we don't really know what the ride system is, so it's... I'm it's, pretty sure it's trackless. The it's, issue, the trouble with doing trackless on a more action thing is they only have so much charge, so it's hard to track this vehicle really quickly for long periods of time. Well, long enough to do Pirates of the or, uh, yeah, Pirates in Shanghai, that kind of thing. That's not, I mean, it's, it's, it's technically on a type of track. It's not, that, that's not truly trackless. Oh, that's right, it's a boat, actually, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's a boat that's entry on two rails that it slides, on. It, it's not truly trackless. Okay. All right, well, that's what I'm hearing, is that that could be something like trackless type stuff that you'd have to keep down there. Now, I don't think, they didn't dig anything like that for Luigi, so... No, the only reason there's a hole for Luigi is because he used to have a giant camera. Yeah. You don't have to have a giant hole for trackless, as far as I know. Right. Okay, moving over here, they're digging a whole bunch of holes. They dug a whole bunch of holes right here, and this guy right here, actually, that guy right there, the orange dude, is digging something right now. He's digging something along the uh, maintenance road line. What are those for, do you think? Those holes. Actually, it's not even a hole, it's more like a trench. I guess they're gonna put some conduit down there. Yeah. Matter of fact, a lot of that green conduit that used to be here, that was right there, is gone. Under the dirt. So that green conduit has either been placed or being, oh, there's some more over there right now, too. So that could be what they're working on there, is the conduit. Um, all right. Those, the, the jigsaw the, and the two walls over here look about the same as yep. they did last week. But there's a bunch more rebar all over. A lot of rebar. Matter of fact, Our doesn't track. that rebar look like it's forward more? Yeah, of yeah. The, so what is that? For another wall in. So what, what's going to go in between? I don't know. Is that, but there, that's something, right? Yeah, no, there's space for something there. There's, there's there definitely, it does look like they're putting, it's like a, a path almost that they've developed. Well, that makes me wonder if. Backstage, maybe? Maybe. That's a path. It's not wide enough to put any kind of ride vehicle through. I think it is anyway. It's not or a train. You can't put a train there. Okay, it doesn't look wide enough to put anything through there other than a person. Maybe a cart. Right? Yeah. Like Crazy. a golf cart. Crazy. The angle we're looking at it has messed us up. Before. That's true. That's true. But so, still, I mean, my best guess. Play devil's advocate. It could be more. Now, what about these, <laughs> quiet you. <laughs> Liz over here with her commentary, backseat driver. <laughs> uh, the walls look about the same. Yep. Uh, now, do you see that? The fantastic storage, do you see the rebar coming out sideways? Yeah, I don't know if that's- The lateral the, rebar? What is that? I don't know if some of that is just like, they, they, those are forms and they need to put more actual walls there and those are just holding up forms. Or, yeah, I mean, that looks like additional structure that they're gonna put in there. Yeah. It's not just gonna be four walls, but four walls and something. Look at, look at, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shoot, oh. Do you see that? They're actually crane lifting. A they're form. moving a form right now. Big old giant form. Wow, what are they gonna do with that? Flying, we get just way through the air. Like an eagle. Wow. Of Wait, we are a poet, Ian. No, because I still have the portal to it. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. We're watching construction happen. Like actual construction. In real time. The guy can't get it straight though. It's dangling. Like a fish on a hook. Um. How is Mount Spielberg looking? Slightly flatter. <coughs> yeah, they're, they're shaping it again. A little bit. Because last week it was kind of a general hill. Yeah. Or general mountaintop. I mean, there was stuff happening on top that it wasn't really, but it looked like they shaped a little bit. Uh, any progress back there on the, uh, whatever it is they're filling the form, the, or those, uh... Those spaces between? Yeah. No, I Looks about the same. That does look about the same. 
And we're definitely hearing that's just going to be landscaping with the hill, you know, the, the dirt up against the thing. It's just going to be trees and stuff. Cool. Landscaping. It's going to be, you know, that's kind of what we talked about in uh, Robert's um, image that he sent us is that there's very large sections of just nothing but, whoop, there are very large sections of just nothing but the um, you know, buffer, uh, sound protection to insulate Fantasyland, which is the most important thing to insulate, I think. Uh, Fantasyland from Star Wars Land. Uh, the form has been placed, I guess. I lost track of it. Yeah, it's been lowered. Okay, so we don't know then, because we, when we lost track of, the, when we got distracted by the form, we were trying to figure out what's going on with the uh, phantasmic storage. Mm -hmm, yeah. That looks, I mean, I don't know what that is. What those, what those vertical, or I mean, uh, lateral, uh, what do you call it, rebar are. So last week we showed you these rocks, before we move on to the Hungry Bear. The we showed you those, those, those rock forms. Most people are saying that's not actually going to be the final destination. No, they're just rocks. stacked up there for now. That's just where they are now. Some other photos, other, other blog and stuff. You're like, yeah, they're just kind of stacked up. All right, now, I, Robert's, Robert's uh, you know, image suggests, again, a path that runs alongside the Hungry Bear to its right, with the river on its right and the Hungry Bear on its left. Um, yep. I, don't, I don't, where that is, I don't know. Well, I think it'll have to go partway underneath the, with the back end top floor, which there was no seeing underneath that. Right, the that's back true, area yeah, the top that's floor. true. So it can go along a bit and then start going under to get out of the way. You know, I asked the question in that video, Ian, maybe you can help me visualize this. That path has to cross the train. Those yeah. two have to intersect. Yeah, it'll go under, it has to. So can, now, are you going through a tunnel or are you just going to go under the train? Well, I mean, what do you mean? Or can you just make under, like... Do you just walk under a trestle? Could be. I don't or, could be. Or or do you are you going through a tunnel? I mean, they haven't. I mean, maybe they're working their way around, but they haven't done anything that would suggest they're going to put to a concrete tunnel. I don't see any kind of tunnel being developed there. I don't see there. anything being dug out to, for a boundary. So if there is a path, it'll go underneath a trestle. Probably. It'll have to go under the trestle. Yeah. So, I mean, again, maybe they just haven't gone there yet, but. Yeah. Wow. Well, oh, here's the, uh, you can kind of see better right now from here, those, those little trenches that they're, they're building right here, or digging. For what, I'm not sure, but it looks like that's two layers there. Do you see how it's stepped? Yeah. Like a, like a pyramid. Yep. That's by design as well, right? Or is that just so the tractors can get down there or something, or? Well, no, I mean, that's I'm not sure wide enough for that. If anything, it's just, again, by design for temporary use. Yeah. Not like a permanent thing. So there's that. I swear, okay, I don't, yeah, we're just, we're figuring specific cable and wiring, or what did you call it? I don't know. Specific cable and something. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Um, I can't think of anything else to talk about besides those two guys, they're doing the hard work right now. Those two guys are building that wall all by themselves. And there's just a whole ton of forms just laying over there. Yeah, oh yeah, I was going to look at that. Just piled. But wait, oh, where did they go? Okay, but anyway, props to you two right there for building that wall. Trump will be proud. Um, yeah, Ian was talking about there's a whole mess of forms that they're getting ready to put. That's got to be for the you know for that rebar that's exposed right now, right? Probably. I can't believe I kind of know how forms work now. It's like, because I, I, I thought, okay, they put the form up and that's it, it stays there. But it doesn't, they just kind of fill it in yeah. and then they take it out, right? Yeah, because it's to form the concrete. Right. Amazing. You learned something. Okay, fresh baked, Star Wars land. It's almost oh, done. Rad. It's almost done. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang or maybe our Secrets and History videos. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!